will never deny that hockey is a sport. One team gets to win, the other has to win. But look beyond the scoreboard and you begin to see that maybe there's a little more to it. One minute, it refuses to let you play. Then the next, all you can do is scream. And what happens in a half second can stay with you the rest of your life. Feeling my way through the darkness Got it by beating heart I can't tell where the journey will end But I know where to start They tell me I'm too young to understand They say I'm caught up in a dream well, Life will pass me by if I don't open up my eyes Well, it's fine by me So wake me up when it's all over when I'm wiser and I'm older All this time I was finding myself And I didn't know I was lost So wake me up when it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older All this time I was finding myself And I didn't know I was lost <laughs> St. Cloud Cathedral Hockey Team. Uh, what an incredible run you guys had on your on, on your quest for the state championship. And we're also very proud of you. I can tell you, Mac in heaven was cheering all the way um, for all your success and, and your hard work and your dedication that you put on this season. He was behind you every step of the way. You're forever in our hearts uh, for honoring Mac and keeping him in your thoughts. Uh, the Motsko family is forever indebted to, to, to the love we get from Cathedral, and we share it right back at you. Thank you so much. I know some of you guys may be 
thinking ahead, so I just focus on right now and then take it day by day. Don't think about tomorrow or Monday, just think about right now and uh, just enjoy the journey. That's all I have to say. And really embrace and take a moment today to look around the rink and just look at the guys that you're sitting by and just fight for them. Shot Cathedral has. Stern. In the wood. Center scores! Griffin Stern. Boy, we've talked a lot about him, and he gets his team on the board with seven seconds left in the power play. They kill Nick Hansen playing spectacular back there. Swenson out in front. They score. We're tied. It's Wong. Wong from Swenson. It's 13th of the season. Cathedrals come on the line. Ben Norris. But look at the hard work by Swenson. Look at that hard work by Swenson. Unbelievable. He wanted that puck more than the Warroad Warriors. That's the drive. That is how bad you need it. Bad you need, need to want it this time of year right here. Swenson, absolutely amazing play. Oh. Bo Wong, great patience by staying there, supporting him. Beautiful little... about icing. Here's Hirschfield. Hirschfield, nice move. Then gets stood up. Bodies with Dwinnell. They score! Gillespie and Hirschfeld team up. They go to the net. We're tied. What I can see brings that all the way. Gillespie, I like how Gillespie very unselfishly did not try and take the puck away from Hirschfeld right there. He didn't fight over it. Let Hirschfeld make the play. Let him finish. Amazing effort. Strength, edge work, hands, finish. Wow. Wow. Hey, done, Jim. No, we're not. St. Clark. St. Clark and Pedro comes in with Gwinnell. Tipped around, it's loose in the slot. Dwinnell gets it back, rebound, score! Hirschfeld, he tied it, and now he wins it! St. Cloud Cathedral going to the championship game. After the point, Peterson blocked, knocked down. Cathedral's got a three on two if they can hurry and get organized. Trailing the play, Hirschfeld to the far side, and they score! Dwinnell, three on two, and it's one nothing. Oh, it is always feels good in the... Up high, Peterson from the middle, oh, shot, save, rebound! Oh, oh, and Hanson got a piece of the rebound! How did he, he do that? Oh. Here's the look at this save. Oh my, he flips the stick out. Nick had to make a couple of really good saves right here. He's got traffic in front. Oh. He stays with that puck and makes an unbelievable save. Watch him flip his blocker, flip his stick out, and gets the... Number right now. Goals are a premium. Gillespie comes right back in. Drop to Gornell. He scores! Gornell is second of the game. Andrew has given St. Cloud Cathedral a cushion. It's 2 nothing.
of the hockey game. St. Cloud Cathedral holding on to a 2-0 lead. That one in on Callaway. Tipped it, and it comes out in front. It's 3-0. And it's Dwinnell. No, Gillespie. And Gillespie gets on the end. He had assisted on the two goals. Now he's got a goal, and it's 3-0. Saw it coming in the first period from this kid. You can just know when a goal scorer, when a player's playing his game, when the puck's going to come into him. Joey Gillespie it has, has had a phenomenal night. That whole top line. You and St. Cloud Cathedral, for the second time, wins the Class A championship. just completed. That theme was modeled so well and worked so well that I will struggle to come up with one that will be as meaningful as that one. It would be my hope that that theme would just become a part of the culture of our teams in the years to come. If it does, we can expect to have similar outcomes. You did not just win this year, you won it you did not just win state this year, you won it with class all year long. People noticed how you treated each other and opponents. Respect all and fear none. In 42 years of coaching Cathedral Hockey, I've had a lot of great moments, but this year goes down as one of the greatest because we were all in it together. There is a saying, treat your custodian like you treat your president. You showed people how to do that. You showed people how we were all in this together. I watched you work at practice like you worked in a game. It paid off in tough games. You were prepared. You showed respect and believed in your coaches and your teammates and in yourselves. Your actions after games with our opponents didn't take long for other teams to join our team in prayer at center ice and model respect for each other. This is what the hockey world needs more of at all levels. We hope the traditions you started will be forever continued. 
The special season will live with all of us forever. You finished the job we set out to do. Congratulations. With love and respect, Coach Brownie and Jane.